when all our boasts are at an end? When no one's left, we might impress. When all our tales of make-believe have not made anyone believe, we stare into the mirror that reveals our brokenness and pain. Hard as it is, this is the moment richer life begins. Reduced by circumstance and time to being honest with ourselves, we reach for help we cannot give ourselves. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. We fear such honesty will leave us lonely, loveless, miserable. But God sees in our honesty the genesis of life renewed. Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The honesty that seemed to seal our doom is actually the doorway to restored and joyful life. Grace changes our reality, not only our self-image. Made right with God through Jesus Christ, we grow into the kinder, wiser, honest souls whom we were always meant to be. The mirror doesn't lie, and neither does the Lord. So stay in grace. <laughs>